three duchy is bad. Yeah, you start to get modifiers, right? Holds too many duchy titles. Is two the limit before you start getting uh, modifiers? I think so. If we take a look over here... So I'm considered to be a tyrant. Because I went and took some money. But other than that, people like me a fair bit. Raise and centralization would be nice. Now, here's the thing. You can only change your laws so often, right? Um, and obviously, we're going to want to raise the status of women laws. Because that is going to be a high priority. Right now, everyone is going to oppose us. So at some point, they added in this consul council stuff. Um, where do we actually see it? Oh yeah, right over here. My council. Um, and these people may or may not vote for the things I want. This uh, court chaplain just hates me no matter what. Probably because I'm apparently like not very religious. Um, these guys are zealots, which means they won't go for like pro religious. Or they'll they'll only want pro religious stuff. This guy's a pragmatist, and this guy's a glory hound. Um, we're going to have to start maybe buying some favors from these guys. We will also try to see if we can't install super loyal people on this, which is going to become a little easier once we become the Bride of Satan. <clears throat> so we'll let the game run a little bit. Give two provinces to your husband. Your children will get them back. That's true. Now, it is ga gavel kind laws over here, which is super duper inconvenient. I mean, we're already going to get, like, our realm divided up um, when there's a succession crisis. But, you know, we'll deal with that when we get there. Mm -hmm. Can't give away duchy. Same rank as you. And you can give out the county. And you can give out the counties anyway without creating a duchy. Ah, so if I gave out this duchy, like, of Modena to someone else, they would still be below me as a vassal? That's good to know. Now, I think I should move my, my big giant head here. So right over there. And, oh, we got some, yes, we did get some more tips in here. We got one from Big Hauser. Thank you very much. Uh, Big Hauser says, thank you for playing my favorite game. Keep up the good work, Will. Well, thank you very much, Big Hauser. Also, I think I just moved my, my screen a little bit. Uh, Clay Dog Core. Thank you very much for that. Wow. Been watching your YouTube since Civ 6 came out. First time I was able to catch a stream. Here's to many more. Well, thank you very much, Clay Dogcore. Also, you may be interested in uh, our Wednesday streams, which are always Civilization. Cheers, that's awesome. And Janners, or Yanners maybe. Uh, will you be recording slash streaming Oxygen Not Included? That is definitely high on the list. Looks like something you might enjoy. Absolutely. I was actually, for some reason, I thought it was a multiplayer game. I was going to get a session going with uh, with Briarstone. But uh, it is not. It is strictly single player, which is a shame. We are in a war here against France. We are in a war against France over Zealand uh, over here. Um, but I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to personally raise or lead any troops. Things will just happen. It's fine. If you give a duchy to someone while you're still the duke, they will not be your vassal. Yes, yes, duchy. I was never, ever, ever talking about giving away a duchy title. I, I don't know if I misspoke or people are just super confused. I was never, ever, ever going to give away a duchy. I was simply going to give away a county. <laughs> so he can get his own DLC. Well, a lot of people are in this DLC, but really. Uh, we're going to hold a feast. So we're going to spend some money. And we're gonna get a little. We're gonna attempt to get a relationship boost with our vassals here, which is very nice to do. I will spend money. We're gonna get some traveling dancers. You know, spend that dollar dollar. In fact, with all this money, I'm kind of tempted to develop my uh, my capital here. Although we have the financial things in place, we would just be building fortifications or various buildings that give us more troops, which would be good in the long run. But I think we can wait for now. So yes, you uh, a conjurer. Yes, you're a magician. You're gonna go ahead and perform. That's gonna be fine too. We really need. We need a sin. I annoyed religious authorities, but I am holding a large feast. I will spend lavishly on food. And we're going to send out our invitations. We're going to see who doesn't come. Some people hate me. Uh, yeah, so this um, Count Anselmo of Luca, who's my chancellor, hates me. Um, who's this? Mayor La Lazarino of Pescara. I don't like you either. Okay, lots of people aren't coming. But that's okay, because that gives me targets, right? <laughs> targets for future things, which is going to become a little easier once we do get, you know, Satan here. So, like, this guy here is never going to like me. All right? We're always going to have a bad time. Um, I'm his rival, for whatever that means. So, minus 100 relationship because of rival. That's never going to go away. Uh, we do have to... Yeah, we should... I think I should offload the domain. So, people are saying, if I went ahead and give away Modena... Um, that would go, and I would still be within my, my tree here. Presumably. 
So if I had, say, should I give it to my husband? Would he leave? Would we still be boinking as much? So let's say I told my husband, listen, I am going to go ahead and you are going to become the Count of Modena. This will work. Hang on, let, let's let's do a let's do a quick save before we do this, just to make sure that nothing really weird goes around. Mm -hmm. So grant landed title. We're gonna let you run Modena for us. Every good way, Lord. They'll still be below you. Okay. I mean, the lower titles doesn't matter because right now I don't control the city or the bishopric, so no matter what, the vassals are gonna go with that grant. This, this button doesn't make a difference in, in this particular situation. Um, assemble Mercenary Company. Neat. You know what? So we're going to do that. Um, oh, this Cardinal was the chaplain. The Cardinal from that province was my chaplain. So that actually leaves an open seat, which is interesting. So now I'm at six of five. We'll see about giving away another one soon. So is there any chance I've got... A chaplain here, someone who would be a good in this role. I mean, court chaplain, you want high learning, right? Yeah, that's the default thing. So we want someone high learning who likes me. The problem is none of these guys are going to like me that much. Now, this guy's specifically a zealot. I'm actually thinking maybe we should ask about um, this guy who's pragmatic. Now, I don't know if any of these count as powerful, and therefore they'll be upset if they don't have a role. But I'm wondering about this fellow here. And yeah, we can start sleeping with people to make them like us more as well. Show all this game under Tuscan Sun. Take the wicked priest? Who's the wicked priest? And this guy's wrathful. Greedy, wrath. If they have a fist next to their name, they're powerful. I mean, if they have the fist here, I'm just not sure it shows up here. I don't see a fist on any of these guys. I mean, so there's the top right corner is their particular stance. Bottom left corner is that. They've got their name here. This shows combat modifiers. First one is one. Oh, 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 wicked priest. Oh, there. Personality habits of this priest are very inappropriate for his position, and what's worse, he's been unable to hide them from public view. What's funny is he's still considered to be a zealot, but maybe we can flip him to, to Satan's cause later on. He does have the highest learning, so he's going to be pretty good for that. It does show up here, there's just none powerful enough to be eligible for court chaplain, I see. There'll be a red fist next to their icons if they're... Yeah, okay, so I have noticed that in other things, but we just don't have any of those people right now. Tell you what, let me hold off on a second. Let's, we're going to give away one of these provinces. It looks like our, our Pentium is a little bit more powerful than Spoleto. So I think I'm going to give away Spoleto to someone. So we're going to go to our court. We're going to find someone who likes us a lot, but isn't ambitious. Am I part of my own court? I guess so. So we want to find someone without a title. Um... He's just a commander. He doesn't actually have a title right now. So what's his traits? He's brave, kind, arbitrary, gluttonous. So he's not ambitious, which is important. I'm going to give him Spoleto. I already gave my county, uh, my husband a county. I don't know if I want to give him two. Or you give that to your husband, make him more powerful. Would it become too powerful? No, probably not. You're right. You know what? F it. You can get a second one. Congratulations. You're going to get, not the duchy. You're going to get the county of Spoleto. You're, and you're not ambitious, right? No, you're ambitious. I'm worried that if I give him too much, he's going to start demanding more titles and become annoying. Maybe he, maybe he won't care because he's my husband. But powerful, ambitious people is scary. How, how do we feel about that? Let me know. Do we give it to our husband? Is he going to become too powerful and too much of a risk? Or is he going to become loyal? I mean, he likes us a lot. We're good friends. Don't think your spouse will vote against you. Probably not. You can always plot against him. That's true. His intrigue's quite low. We can always murder him. You have a plot to kill you? Give it. Don't risk it. 
He's your husband. As long as you don't cheat too much, it's okay. Or we're going to cheat a lot. Don't give it. Don't give it. Give it. Give it. Excellent. Do, do, not, do not go to Twitch for advice. They will say both yes and no. Um, so, tell you what. We're going to go ahead and give it to... Um... Oh, Enzo over here is just a courtier. Enzo, you're cruel. You're content. Oh, this is perfect. Your stats do suck, I gotta say, but you're content. So you will probably never revolt. You've got no title right now. Congratulations, Enzo. You are going to become the Count of Spoleto. Bam. So I've lost my steward, though. Really? This guy was my steward? With eight stewardship? Ooh, I can make my husband my steward. Let's do that. Let's make my, my husband my steward. And then court chaplain. Yeah, even the wicked guy likes me. Oh, we don't have the minus 20 from uh, having too much domain anymore, so that helps a lot. All right, wicked priest is going to be our court chaplain. Because sure, why not? Done. Done. I love it. So, now, out of curiosity, if I were to go and try to pass one of these laws, uh, everyone would be opposed, including my husband. Alright, it's okay. We're, we're going to start doing stuff. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Huh. Oh, a duke somewhere died. That's fine. New important decisions. Oh, uh, court visit. You know what? Let's go ahead and, and see if we can find a good one. The guests have arrived. Welcome to my feast. Never give council position to your husband? Yeah, to lots of zealots, and that is true. Oh! Oh! If the count if he's on the council, I don't get the half points from him anymore? No, oh, poop. Poop! Okay, well, well, we'll fix that. Maybe we'll remove him now. I realize he's going to be cranky, but it'll go away at some point. Since he's not voting for me anyway. Woo! Bishop Garino cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. Ah! Now he is wrathful. So I can imprison him. I would get the just trait, which I don't have right now. And just is actually very, very handy. Lots of positive modifiers to that. Of course, it means he won't be my court chaplain anymore. So that was short. We could pay off the servants, or we could say you did the right thing. Uh, we would be a revolt risk. We get arbitrary. I don't want arbitrary. That's super bad. That's super bad. I don't want arbitrary. So I think we're going to imprison him. There's a good reason we want to imprison him. This will become evident once we join the uh, the Order of Lucifer, or Lucifer's own. So we're going to do this. We're going to gain just, which is great. Um, <laughs> wow, we're going through consul council positions real fast now. We're going to go and grab someone who's not zealous. We're going to grab this guy who's pra pragmatic. And hopefully he will understand that um, going against me is not pragmatic. Scouts bring word of a mystic blind man who supposedly works miracles. He appears around the villages and cures all manners of ailments affect afflicting the peasants. There are even rumors that he made a lame man able to walk again. The peasants call him Renero the Blind. A gift of gold would convince him to come to your court. So this is, um, this is from the search for the physician. He's got very high learning. Um, blind is interesting. You know, I've played enough RimWorld to know that a blind doctor is not really the way you want to go. But this is a different time. So, uh, he will work Miracles at Court. We're going to pay him for 32 gold. Uh, he's going to get a plus 10 relationship boost with us for 5 years because he's glad to become hired. And he'll become our court physician, which we don't have currently. So, you know what? I like it. Boom. Renero the Blind. And the guests have gone back. We got some prestige. And we get a little bit of an opinion boost with some of our people. So, that's good. All right. On death, your titles might pass. Oh yeah, of course, because you don't have a child. We need we need to make a baby! We need babies! Watch his experimental cure for cancers. Trying to remove your eyes. Yeah, that's actually his cure for everything. It's like, oh, I've got a slight cough. You know, my throat's a little itchy. Gotta take out your eyes. It's just the way it goes. Um, so I don't know if this stacks. So right now, if we look at one of our vassals, we have minus 10 tyrant, which is from this. So the question is, if I go and take some more money... Is this going to give me another minus 10? Let's find out. 
Uh, oh, am I going to lose just? Ah, oh, Christ. Tax is obviously necessary. The peasants are just greedy. So the question is, do we now have minus 20 tyrant? No, it doesn't stack. Okay. Although, losing just actually hurts a lot. This did not seem to stack. Oh, no, there it is. It just didn't upgrade in time. Okay, we only have a minus 10 with new... Oh, because he wasn't around then. Yeah, okay, minus 20. Let's stop taking the, the that, because we're already going to have to deal with the fact that everyone hates me. So we're going to have to stop hitting that button. Damn. Losing just and getting the stacking penalty actually really sucks. But now we know. Oh. As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, the court physician, Renero the Blind, approaches you with an idea. Cut out everyone's eyes. You can't... You can't see sinful behavior if you don't have eyes. Uh, true facts. Uh, or alternate facts, whichever. My Duchess, if you were to institute a system of provision, provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, they are sure to be more productive. A wise idea make it so. So we'd 73 gold, gain 50 prestige, and the counties within my domains would get a prosperity boost, which would make them more money. I think they become more vul vulnerable, actually, to disease, but still. So, pay gold for prestige and a prosperity boost, or a waste of money, let the peasants suffer. Cut out everyone's eyes except one of yours. That's right, because in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man, the one -eyed man is king, right? <clears throat> is my new eye be gone? What do we think? Make it so, number one? Actually, here's a good question. Do we have any hospitals? No, we don't have any hospitals anywhere, so we might want to do something about that. Um, in particular, we might want to build a hospital in our capital where we live, if nothing else. People want to do it. All right, do it. Spend the money, get the prestige. Uh, the Kaiser's going around creating some titles. Okay, that's fine. Is it time for us to go and try to seduce the Kaiser? I think I like it. We're going to go and try to seduce the Kaiser over here. I shall bring all my seduction skills to bear on Kaiser Heinrich the Fourth until I have wrapped around my finger. It will be mine. Prestige is worth the money. Yeah, Prestige is a, a global boost to your diplomacy skill. It does definitely scale very differently than before. Um, which makes everyone likes you a little bit more. So, High Prestige is valuable. It does get inherited by your, your children. I mean, they inherit part of it, I think. Um, which is very, very, very good. Very, very powerful. Uh, but it's definitely got nerfed. It used to be crazy. Eh, diseases come and go. What could a disease possibly go to the duchies? Mm-hmm. There's no epidemics yet, which is good. You can also build the fort, which 20 gold to build. Locks down your occupation of empty nomad provinces, negate the crushing attrition penalty served in some pagan homeland. Like, what's the deal with a fort? Is this something we want to build defensively? Or is that just uh, like, a, like a fort you do on the front as you're expanding and conquering? Oh! His hair is always perfect. Her hair is always perfect. Men love her charm and looks, but she is also intelligent and well-spoken. She has been blessed with beauty, intelligence, and success in all things. Oh, I'm going to be jealous of someone. Why was I, was she blessed and not I? Okay, this has a 45% chance of making me envious. Or we can say, it's hard to, it's hard not to envy her, but I'm, I am perfect as I am, which makes me kind as opposed to proud. Now, we need a sin. We need to become sinful to join Lucifer's own. So we're going to hit this button and hope that we get envious. Yes! 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 We have a sin! We are envious, which does give us a boost to intrigue, does give you a penalty to diplomacy, which sucks. Our liege doesn't like us as much if we're envious, and that does really suck. But we now have a sin, which means I can show interest in Lucifer's own, because we're a sinner. So we're going to do that. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. He's never around. We could seduce people more locally to us. You know what? I'm going to give up on seducing him. Maybe we'll work on our council here. No, oh, it's over here that I want to go. Oh, auto son, commanders, that's going to be fine. It's, I can't seduce my husband. Um, the wicked priest has already been imprisoned. Maybe Oberto over here. Oh, he likes me a hundred already. Okay, never mind. Maybe this court chaplain. 43. Yeah, let's, let's, let's seduce him. Seduce Chaplain, yeah, exactly. So we're going to seduce Albino over here, or Albino probably, and see what we can do. Seduce the Bishop. The chase begins. It'll be well worth it. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, we wait. Yeah, I know, Daniel. The, uh, the, the Sleuth for Zone is fun. I did, like, load this up and just, like, l relearn the buttons, and I got to see a few of the events that are going to be coming here. It's going to be excellent. Created the du title Duchy of Tyrol. Ah, you managed to chance um, upon Albino alone in the kitchen when he came down for his usual late night snack. We talked and laughed for hours, and I tell the attraction is growing. Hopefully I've read him correctly. I leaned in to whisper in his ear, and... Which one do we do? What do we do to the, the Cardinal Albino here? Seduce the Pope, have Lucifer's child with him. That is something you can do. Which button? Zynthia says, go lewd. Another lewd, lewd, lewd. Okay, lewd suggestion it is. I sure know how to cajole men. Alb Albino and I spend the night making sweet, illicit love in his bed. I snuck off in the wee hours, leaving the court clueless. I hope. We can go vini, vidi, vici. V uh, vidi, vici, vini, veni. Something. Love him and leave him. Or we can let our love grow. We could fall in love with him. We're not going to fall in love with him. That'd be crazy. We're done. He has been seduced one time. What does it give us a boost? He's an inspiring seducer? Didn't seem to do as much as I'd hoped. One time equals no boost? Ah. So we could do the full love thing, and then he might fall in love with us. Uh, I'm not going to exert the, stu the, the subjects anymore. We're going to leave that off, because I don't want to get more tyranny. Aha! Excellent! Excellent! I'm having dinner, and plenty of drinks with Prince Bishop Thietmar of Church Night. Who's this guy? Oh, seduction focused. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, some people are suspicious about him. Uh, it's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is Thietmar himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some of the more almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of God? If we do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? So we think it's a great discussion, fueled by alcohol or not. We're going to get a relationship boost with each other, and that's going to be fine. Or we could say no, but we're not saying no. We're saying, yes, 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 God, curiosity is a gift of God. Of course, we're going to discuss this further in the future. Walking the Palisades of my castle, I'm joined by Prince Bishop Thietmar. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lady, will you carry this with you for protection? I will keep it hidden, and I thank you. Or I could accuse him of being a witch. You're a witch! Burn him! So we're going to do that, and we're going to get another relationship boost. Open-minded. Excellent. And then another event. I'm surprised they're not spread out more. Uh, well, no, it, it's a, I guess it's all part of the same event, like, the same evening. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe in is a lie? <gasps> Theotmar continues, rolling, or throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of Satan's mark. Uh, it's, it's, it's a dick butt, is what it is. Um, God is a liar. Reject the tyrant deity and let Satan guide your steps. You are truly a witch, then. Could you do something about my arrival? Ooh. Or, this is blasphemy. Leave my sight before I call the guards. So, obviously, we're going to continue. My rival. That, that bishop guy with the minus 100. Mm-hmm. Oh, we did get... Hold on. We got a couple of tips in, in between here. Uh, from Haji says, make sure you build some hospitals because the Italian region gets slammed by epidemics. It does have a lot of trade, so I'm sure that's the case. I think we'll have to build one, at least in our capital. Um, and Cool Man Fights and then another tip. Thank you very much, Cool Man. You earned the drunken monk today as advisor. The France king is loose for himself. Well, then I would, I would need to bow down and worship him, obviously, right? Because that's the way we're going. Mm-hmm. We might, if you offer, offer yourself up to Satan. He will grant you powers God has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in his pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. If there's a chance it'll do something about my rival, I will. The Prince Bishop will leave me alone for now, but the Coven will be in, in contact with me soon. 